Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Today, we're just going to sit around and just do a little bit of chatting. Well, this morning I'm actually picking some calamansi uh, to make some fresh calamansi juice uh, for this morning, this afternoon around the house here at Villa Feliz. But we're going to do just kind of like a catch-up chat for today instead of doing a building project or another major project. Well, let's go ahead and get today's episode started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. All right, I grabbed as many of the calamansi that I need off of our calamansi tree to make one or two pitchers of calamansi juice, uh, and that'll last us a couple of days. But what I wanted to show you was this. This, if you remember, this is our lime tree back here, and it is doing so good. This is the best year so far. Uh, you can see, you can see our limes that are growing on here. And what I don't, I normally do, I don't pick these and then set them somewhere. Since we only have like, I don't know, eight or ten of the limes on here, uh, go around. I normally look at them from the, <laughs> when I'm sitting inside the pool over here, I peek over and I can see. And they seem to hang at the lower sections down here. And here's one, here's one right here. You can see this one right here. And they're all over, they're all over down here. Here's another one right here. You can see. Anyway, it's doing so good. And what I was getting at was I normally don't pick these and set them to the side because uh, over time they'll get a little hard and they'll, they'll go bad quickly. But if you leave them on here, as long as they don't get yellow, once you see them starting to get yellow, then you pick them and use them. But we use these in beverages and we use these for some seasoning for different types of recipes that we have here. But it's doing really good. Now my carrots, my small patch of carrots here and asparagus are doing really well here in the raised bed garden. But that's not why we're visiting here. I just wanted to show you a gift that we received uh, just a couple of days ago. Uh, we had a little get together and our friends, the Cantadas, they brought us these. And these are, are the newest arrivals of plants that we have at Villa Fleece here. And these are Duhat, uh, Duhat Plum. And the Duhat Plum is a very small plum. It's sort of grapeish looking just like a plum now i have never eaten a duhat before and I imagine it'll be a while before i do because it normally takes several years before okay. so i've got them started here in the raised bed garden they're in pots so the the roots don't expand out and it stays contained and then we'll transplant it to someplace in the yard uh, but this is our duhat plum trees and i need to get this covered this is apple guava right here. And if you don't cover these around here, what'll happen is the insects will get to them quite quick. So far, I think we're good. I think we're good. So uh, I need to get a little bag that goes around here that prevents the insects. We don't really have very many. We pulled most of our apple guava off. We have, I think we only have two, that one. And there's another one somewhere over here. Somebody was pointing to me the other day. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's way, it's way over there. Now here's our crazy dragon fruit plant that we have over here. As you remember, we used to have four on each corner post and the typhoon blew three of them down. Uh, everybody who's been following us knows that story. And this produced a lot over the last, uh, the, probably the early part of this year, probably April, May, and June. We had lots and lots of dragon fruit and it's starting to produce again. And here's one of the smaller dragon fruit that's getting ready uh, to get a little bit bigger and then it will start turning a little bit purple. Uh, and that's when you know you have to pick it. So we'll keep an eye on that. But I don't really see any other blossoms yet. So we'll just keep an eye on the dragon fruit of here. I think one of the problems is I kind of have this this is a uh, Cavendish banana, and it should not be inside the raised bed garden. Uh, but it was a baby plant that I stuck here to get it out of the way because I didn't want to forget what it was. And I put it inside the raised bed garden, and I just kind of left it here. And it's growing like crazy. I got to get this out of here and find a place over in the pavilion area. Because remember, that's our banana plantation over there. <laughs> now, these red lady papayas never fail never fail to amaze me at the amount of papaya. And we give these out every week. Our neighbors come by. We have a little program in our neighborhood here. We have a great community of some really great people that have their own little 
gardens in their backyard. And they have this place online where they go on and somebody will announce, I have this plant or I have this fruit or I have this vegetable. Does anybody want to barter and trade things off? And we're constantly giving away papaya. Papaya is one of the biggest things that we give away. And a little bit of the kong kong that we have over inside the garden over there. And that's the main things that we trade in our little bartering system here in our community. Now, I don't know if I showed in the last episode. I don't think I did. These are actually coconuts from our coconut tree in our front yard. Uh, I'll show you the coconut tree. We only have one that's got fully mature coconuts. And hopefully the sun isn't blurring it out too much. But that's this coconut tree right here. And we have somebody climb uh, that tree about three times a year. And... Uh, we collect some of our coconut and we donate some of our coconut to the community. But this is enough so that when we have gatherings, when we have get-togethers here uh, in the pavilion, and we'll open up one of the coconuts, we'll pour the coconut juice out. Sometimes we'll uh, cut out some of the buco, the buco fleshy meat on the inside, the actual coconut itself, and we'll make like buco drinks, buco smoothies, and things like that. Uh, here's some leftover rambutan. You see this right here? This is rambutan. Uh, we had a big get-together yesterday, and uh, the folks when they come to the get-togethers we have here uh, in the backyard of Villa Feliz, everybody normally brings something, sometimes things from the garden. This is some rambutan from one of our neighbor's garden. Of course, we know this is Mary Ann's hangout right here. Hey, Mary Ann. And of course, what would the backyard of Villa Feliz be without <laughs> these things all over the place? Bananas. We have bananas everywhere. And we got a new blossom right here. You see this blossom right here? And uh, I, I, just, I just saw this a couple days ago and it won't be long and somebody will be sitting right here at the bar and there'll be a big hanging banana bunch right over the top of the seat. I'm not worried about it. bananas, they, they don't fall from the, from the tree. Now, before we go and sit inside the pavilion and have a little chit chat, I just wanna show you, I'm, I, I'm always telling you we're going bananas around here. We're gonna walk behind the house here our, our neighbor has graciously allowed us to put a bunch of banana plants on their lot uh, until they decide what they're going to do but well, let me show you the bananas on our neighbor's lot behind us so you can see they're doing really good back here uh we have a it's it's a combination of cavendish lakatan lantundan uh here let me show you let me show you uh, and these, these are part of our bartering with the community for other vegetables and fruits that they have. This is actually the, the uh, one of the most desirable varieties right here. This is the Cavendish right here. And we're always giving seedlings. You see, these are seedlings right here. They're like little suckers on the side. And a lot of our neighbors around here, they want these type of bananas because the, the native banana in our subdivision is Saba. And that's a cooking banana. That's not really uh, particularly good for eating, like regular eating. And what, uh, what they do is they come here, uh, we cut up some little seedlings for them. And now they get some of the most desirable bananas that you can get here inside the Philippines uh, as a gift from us here at Villa Feliz. Well, since we're doing updates here today, I just want to show you something really cool. We added some new uh, signs, little, our, our street signs right here. Uh, we ordered these on, on uh, Lazada. They have, they have uh, sign making companies. Let's see if I can get it without any reflection, too much reflection right here. So we put one right here, let me show you. We also did one at the front gate. We, get, we try to get most of our deliveries. This is like our service gate. But since we hang out so much in the backyard, we try to get everybody to do our deliveries back here. But let me show you at the front, up here at the front, the, uh, the, the street sign that we just uh, installed not just recently. And we added one more thing. Although we don't really, we don't really get a lot of, <laughs> of mail. I'm gonna say we get like no mail here. Uh, we get our utility bill and that's when the guy reads the utility, the utility uh, meter and just usually ties the utility bill right on the fence here. And now we have a mailbox. <laughs> We actually have a mailbox where things can be delivered right here. If ever we have anything that needs to be delivered and we're not here. Uh, this is the other sign that we have inside here on the front of our house. I like it. I like it. We've never, we've always had people, they ride through here and they're like, oh, is that uh, lot eight? Is this lot eight? Is this lot? They, often they don't know what lot. So 
This, this now, there's no question as to where lot eight is in our subdivision. Now, I can't take credit for those street signs. Uh, the, the person who actually brought it to our attention was our good Canadian friends over here across the street. Uh, they're the ones who said, hey, take a look at this. And I'm like, oh, this is really, this is really neat. Uh, I hope maybe we can standardize. And uh, thanks to these guys right here, for making that suggestion. We're really happy with our new street sign on the front and the side of our house. Now, before we get into a conversation back here, what's been going on around here lately, I just wanna show you. Now, these are the these are the calamansi that I get from my trees around here. They're always really nice. They're very good shape. They're shiny. And uh, rarely do I get a, a too bad of a blemished calamansi here. I don't know what the, don't ask me what the success or the secret is. I don't know. I don't really do anything special. But normally when we get calamansi from the market, now the calamansi from the market looks usually like this. Uh, I want you to look at the difference in the size. When you order around here, or even if you go to the market, these are kind of like what you get right here. I'm not really sure where all the stuff is on the outside. Uh, since our second biggest area for demographics is the Philippines, if anybody here from the Philippines knows, or anywhere, you don't have to be from the Philippines, if you know why uh, some calamansi looks like this and some calamansi looks like this, please share in the comment section. Uh, I want to know because I want to continue getting this kind of calamansi because it's the biggest and the juiciest and the sweetest taste in calamansi that I've ever had here in the Philippines. All right, well, I'm going to start uh, today's episode here with uh, some of that fresh calamansi that I just made. And uh, I really like to make the calamansi uh, with just a little bit of sugar and a little bit, a little bit of natural honey. Uh, it just gives the exact amount of sweetness and the flavor of the honey just tops it off. Uh, so that's what I have right here. Mm. So good, and it's so good to know that it came from your own garden. That's a special treat. Anyway, I want to talk today a little bit about uh, some things, uh, some updates that have been going on around here, uh, away from our normal like new home build series, uh, projects around the house. This kind of me to you kind of talking here. Uh, I also want to recognize a few people uh, that have actually made some contributions to the channel uh, by ways of either something like uh, super thanks, super thanks, like uh, we always have a contribution from like our good old friend Art Carlson, a uh, uh, channel that I normally visit on the weekend. He has his own, uh, he has his own drone channel. Uh, thank you, Art, for your super thanks. And Christina Taylor, Christina, she is, uh, she's doing to catch up right now she i think she's doing a cram of watching a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the my pi dream because she often gives me comments uh on multiple multiple episodes in a while so it kind of makes me think that she's watching she's kind of like binge watching a lot of the episodes but she is such a sweet lady and i want to thank you christina for that wonderful super thanks that you sent to uh the channel to help support our continuation of my pi dream i also want to recognize some people for visits we had lots of visitors over the last uh, september and october as you know the channel is far-reaching. It goes it goes all over the world. When I say far-reaching, uh, we we have viewers uh, that often come to visit because many of them are married uh, to Philippine citizens over here, especially expats. We have a lot of expats like myself that's married to my wife Ness, and uh, they are either coming back to visit family inside the Philippines, or a lot of them are coming back here to retire inside the Philippines. And we often uh, are blessed by their visits here at Villa Feliz. I just want to recognize a few people. Uh, we had some f folks that came in uh, it, back in September, September 13th, uh, from the San Francisco Bay Area, and uh, and they they uh, they have a house. They have a house in Tagaytay, and they came by and stopped and visit us. And that's Ken and Susan Rauch. They came and visit us, and we sat out here inside the pavilion, and he, we had a wonderful afternoon with some chatting. Uh, they brought over some nice gifts. They brought over some wine, uh, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Also, September 15th, we were blessed to be visited by a very, very old subscriber. And not that he's very old. When I say very, very old, he's been here since the very beginning, since the beginning of the building of uh, Villa Feliz here. And that's uh, Alan 
Alan Henderson. And Alan stopped by and he had some great stories to share. And Alan always brings over uh, guests too. And uh, I'm going to share a little bit of a video from some of uh, his stop by and one of the guests that he dropped in. Now, don't ask me to pronounce some of He's actually from from Scotland and uh, I can't pronounce some of the words that they have over there. It's really difficult. I can barely speak English and trying to even Tagalog is, is, is a challenge for me as well but uh, uh, he actually came over and it was a great visit and thank you Alan for stopping by on that visit okay I, I wasn't gonna do this but I got I've got to do this so this anyway, anyway this is a this is a gift right here this and I had no idea what this is and and I you probably won't have any idea what this is even after I try to explain what this is and I know I just didn't pronounce quick quick Kind of. <laughs> how, how do you pronounce? Quick. Better. Quick. Okay. Oh, That's yeah. it. Of course she does it better. Okay. Okay. I told you I have I have problems speaking English. So. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Anyway, this is a this is a friendship cup. Friendship cup. And and uh, Alan, Alan actually brought some friendship uh, yeah. juice. Friendship yeah, yeah, juice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I guess I guess this is tradition here. Yeah. Okay. Explain the tradition. How the, how this works. So. Even back in the UK, uh, even at a wedding, a celebration, the bride and groom is getting more popular in in Scotland. At maybe a non-religious wedding that the we call maybe the minister or who's taking the ceremony a humanist, mm. and so it's a non non-religion service. So maybe the couple uh, they would drink out a quich, a quich, a quich, uh, and that would be their first drink after they're married. Oh, okay. Their first uh, drink together. So, uh, but it's also called the friendship cup. Okay. Uh, so, what we do is. <laughs> can I open this one? Yes, yes, yes. So, That's what, what you do is. What it's yeah, there because for. we've just met, right? So, you maybe. You put, you put although, a bit. although you said we just met, we've known each other for five, five years. years. Five yeah. years. Yeah. So, we're going to put. Oh, I'm going to spell. Well, it doesn't matter. All okay. right. And it's like a blessing, okay? All right. All right, okay. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll. On yeah. this side. Yeah. Oh, is there, is okay, there, okay, right? okay. I'll. Drink a wee bit of on this side of the cup, and James is going to drink from that side of the cup. Side. All of it. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No problem. And then that says friends. There we go. There we go. Officially. And, but you should have taken part in this. Oh. But you know. uh, and on act a little bit closer to today, uh, October eighteenth, uh, that was just um, just a couple of days ago. We were visited by um, Quentin Romeo, Quentin Romeo, and his family, Teresita, and his dad, also uh, Quint Senior, Quentin Senior, uh, from San Diego, and this wonderful family very very wonderful family uh had lots of great things to share with us now both quentin senior and uh quint are uh veterans uh quint senior is a is a retiree of the u.s navy during the vietnam era uh and son uh, uh quentin is uh also a uh a a veteran of the U.S. Navy. Uh, may, he was a lieutenant in the Navy and decided to go into a different career path. And I thank you both for your service. Uh, but we had a great visit by these guys. They shared some very interesting stories. As a matter of fact, Quint Sr. Uh, wrote a book and he left a book. Uh, he actually uh, has a published book and has to do about his life. And I can't wait to start reading that one. That's the next book on my agenda to read. And he gave me a very personalized, uh, hand-signed uh, edition of that book. And thank you very much as well. Now, also in September, on September 10th, uh, we had a birthday and an anniversary. Wayne Seymour and his wife, uh, they celebrated their, oh gosh, let me see if I can see, uh, seventh anniversary. Seventh anniversary. And his wife also celebrated her birthday. 37th birthday so to Wayne Seymour and his wife uh, happy anniversary and to his wife happy 37th birthday as well and also I want to do another shout out to a very long time subscriber I'll try not saying old subscriber it's a I should always say long long time subscriber and that's Gary Murphy Gary Murphy and his wife are, are celebrating uh, two fans just like the previous uh, celebration uh, both a birthday and an anniversary they are celebrating their 13th anniversary together as well as it's it's his wife's birthday during the month of October they didn't give me the ex exact dates uh, Gary you need to give me that information when I when I do the shout outs 
But anyway, I want to wish your wife a very happy birthday and the two of you a super happy anniversary. Okay, it's at this point, I have to apologize. I actually had a lot more content, actually a lot more meaning that there was so much more, I wasn't able to get it in this episode. I addressed, uh, in what I just had to edit out, I addressed a bunch of comments and questions that had to do with house building, regrets, and many, many different things. But then when I went to go editing, it was like an hour's worth, <laughs> it was like an hour's worth of material. So we're gonna have to do a separate uh, video that has to cover those questions. We will get to your questions and comments later on, I promise you. Uh, but we're gonna have to close this one out. So what you're gonna see right after this is the end of all of that after I did all that additional material. So I, I can't have this video to be too long. So thank you for being patient for the time being. Well, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. I think we talked about enough. I, I actually spoke a little bit more than I expected to speak today. There's a lot more things I want to cover, but we'll do it in some upcoming episodes. Uh, I want to thank everybody, everybody who's been supporting the channel, been watching, been making those great comments, been sending me emails. The, the, the folks that have stopped by and visited us here, we always enjoy the visits. It's, it's ironic that we get visits and people come here and they say the same thing over and over and over again. It's, they tell us that, you know, you probably don't know us, but we feel like you're part of the family and we, we've known you forever. And, and I thank you for that. I, I'm glad that we have this great comfort feeling that uh, we are all part of the same type of community and we're all family because we are all our family here on My PI Dream. Uh, the, other, the only other thing is the weather. The weather has been crazy and I talked about that when I talked about the soul here. Lots of rain, lots of overcast, uh, but we only have a couple more months, I think, of that. Uh, my all concern is always in November. November is normally the typhoon, the, when the big typhoons. Although we, we've had lots of typhoons, but they've been way north of us or way south of us. We really haven't had a bad issue so far this year with typhoons. But again, November, that's the one we have to get over that hump. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share, and if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and click on that little My PI Dream in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. You'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video, if you ring that bell. <laughs> so until such time, uh, from right here in the very beautiful, cloudy, and rainy Philippines, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>